Charlie Gasparino, nice to see you, Charlie. Good morning to you. Right. I think the question out there is how much higher could it go? Is, is it leveling off? Will it come back down? Talking about interest rates, rates or I'm inflation? I'm talking about inflation <laughs> at the moment, and no one has that answer. I mean, it might come down a little bit. It's still at historic highs, and I think what's the irony here is this is an administration that loves to brag that it only raises taxes on the rich, the, you know, the super wealthy. Well, inflation is a wicked tax on the working class. And, you know, you were talking about wages being eaten up by this inflation. Mm -hmm. So he talks about jobs, the president. If you have to work three times as hard or work two jobs to afford that same hamburger, that's a problem. And that's kind of what we have right now. Uh, and it could get worse. And, uh, and, and here's the other problem. Because of his fiscal policy, that's what the White House does, because they spend so much money. You, the Federal Reserve has to essentially increase interest rates much more than it wanted to. So what, what, what it comes down to is he, the Fed has to in, in, in enforce a recession and a steep right. one mm -hmm. instead of what, was tr what they tried to do, which was known as a soft landing. Maybe just calm the economy down a little bit to get inflation under control and then back off and let the animal spirits run, run wild and the economy improves with low inflation. So we're in a pickle right now. We're probably heading to a recession. The, um, the administration won't loosen up fiscal policy in terms of regulations that might increase supply and, her, and, and help inflation. They won't, they won't drill. They're cutting leases. I mean, Wall Street Journal editorial page had a big story on that today. So we're in for some rough waters. If you look at call for number four here, inflation is having an impact on a lot of the key races as we lead into the midterms. Right. So, for example, in Phoenix, inflation up at, at 13 percent, in Atlanta up 11.7 um, percent. So you've seen this kind of effect all, that might actually impact the elections as well. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's never been a, a period of hyperinflation that did not have a societal effect. I mean, I grew up in the 70s. Mm -hmm. I remember the, the lines for, mm -hmm. for gasoline. I remember my old man having to work two jobs, sometimes three jobs, to, to, to pay, essentially to make ends meet at yeah. when he used to have to work only one, one job. Right. And this affects working class people. Again, it's a tax on the working class. Yep. And if you think inflation is good as long as the economy keeps growing, if you have to work four times as hard nope. to, to put the same amount of food on your table, well, then, you know, what's the, what's yeah, to, the, to the point? To Dana's point, though, in both of those states, Arizona and Georgia, you have yeah. significant Senate races. Sure. Uh, the Fed meets Wednesday. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Going to raise probably three quarters. Some are thinking maybe it might be a full point, which would be, uh, that'd be a head turner. They will meet again on the Wednesday before. Right. The election on November 8th. You know, is it, what that means, Charlie, then, is all this conversation happens almost every day leading up to the yeah. and, and I know the Fed is a focal point because it's a news item. What is the Fed going to do? But some of this is the market itself. If the Fed doesn't take the lead in addressing inflation through, its, through monetary policy, some bond traders are going to do it. And that's how this works. The, the yields on the 10 year are already spiking more than the, what the Fed wants them to spike. Uh, it's out of the Fed's control if they don't try to take the lead. So my guess, and this is just a guess, I'm going to go out there on a limb, is they do, they do 100 basis points instead of 75. They go oh. on the high end. And I only say that because the, the, the bond markets are starting to react in a way right. that they're saying, okay, we'll take care of this if you don't. Well, we'll be paying attention to it. I mean, food, and the other thing to watch is uh, the rents. Rents and food is, is going, they're out of control. Rents are way up. Remember one, one thing, when gas prices go down, guess what that means? It means people are using less right. gas. Mm -hmm. supply. It means you have a recession. Demand. About productivity. Thank you, Charlie. Nice to see you. Okay. Charlie Gasparino, Fox Thank you Business. so much. Thanks. Busy day for you, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.